And now let's check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Matt Morrow who has the morning's headlines. Good morning, Matt. Uh, good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Kristen. And good morning to you. And we start, as you two mentioned, with more details on this devastating mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. It's in Newtown, Connecticut. And as Nikki and Kristen mentioned, sadly, there is a local connection here in New Mexico to this terrible tragedy. One of the girls who died there, her name is Emily Parker, beautiful young lady, used to go to school in Rio Rancho. News 13 Saluna Westervelt talked with her friends here to find out more about this little angel who sadly died far too young. She greeted her teachers, Mrs. Dale and Mrs. Sleeper, each morning by saying, Salutations, teacher. She loved the book Charlotte's Web, and that heartfelt greeting is the epitome of who Emily Parker was. In the beloved kids' book, Salutations is the main character's fancy way of saying hello, and we're told Emily used it often. Salutations. She was just so friendly and thought about everyone. Brooke Bredhauer is a close family friend. She has three boys the same age as the Parker's girls. They got this Christmas card from Emily's family the day she was killed. That same day, she talked to Emily's mom. I had no idea it was her school. I just said, I said, have you, are you guys close? And she just said, it's Emily's school, but we can't find her. And the news just got worse. When the news of it started to filter in that it was possibly Emily, um, the kindergarten teachers, all of them, you could just see a change. The teacher really hardly can talk. The principal at Maggie Cordova Elementary School says Emily was effervescent and sparkly. She was creative, a talent she got from her mother. I'm sure she made something for Emily mm -hmm. for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And um, she bought her a sewing machine right before she left here. Her father worked at Presbyterian Hospital. He worked in the NICU and had very tender stories to tell about children. He was very tender towards them. Even President Obama offered the family his condolences today as everyone continues to mourn. Salutations, Emily. We will always love you. You will always be our precious angel. Selena Westervelt, KRQE News 13. The Parkers are from Ogden, Utah. They lived in Rancho for about two years before they moved to Connecticut. That was just back in January, about a year ago. Now, as Nikki and Kristen mentioned, there will be a vigil for Emily tonight. That's at 6 o'clock at Cabe Zone Park. It's in Rio Rancho. It's just south of Southern and Unser. Well, in other news, this morning, a city council vote on whether to name a community center after boxing legend Johnny Tapia could be pushed back until January. In fact, it probably will. We're talking about the Wells Park Community Center. It's here near Fifth and Mountain. Albuquerque City Councilor Ken Sanchez here says his proposal will be deferred for at least two more weeks. He wants to, the people and Mr. Tapia's family to go meet with the community, and he says he has heard from the family of Charles Wells. Now that man is, he, uh, has a center currently named after him. Wells is a city manager back in the late 1940s, and Sanchez says he's now looking into maybe naming the gym at the community center after Johnny Tapia instead of the whole building. We definitely want to try to do something to highlight uh, Johnny's career as a boxer and as a member of our community. Uh, he loved Albuquerque. Uh, he had some problems in his life, but he admitted to those problems, and he used to tell young kids, you know, don't make the same mistakes that I've made. Councilor Sanchez there says he wants to involve the Neighborhood Association as well as the uh, new council members on his proposal. If you remember Johnny Tapia, just 45 years old, when he was found dead in his home here in Albuquerque back in May. One boy here in Albuquerque has some new clothes to wear today after his stuff, get this, was stolen from a laundromat, a laundry room. Who does this? and his family still thanking a couple of very special Santas who are also Albuquerque police officers. Now, this all started a few weeks ago when Pamela Gaskill says her son's laundry got stolen from the laundry room at the Mountain Vista Apartments. Well, Pamela filed a police report thinking nothing would come of this. Then this weekend, Pamela and her boy, little Benjamin here, got a very special gift. A couple of police officers bought Benjamin that new truck he just saw, sneakers, jeans, even some new socks. After having had a, a sad conversation with my kids, especially my little one trying to make sense of sad things happening right now in our country, um, this was awesome timing <laughs> that I could actually show them in a concrete way there are, there really are good people. Yes, there are. It's hard to hear that story. Not have a smile on your face and be happy about it. Now, police haven't told us exactly who the officers were, but Pamela says it was Officer Nathan Cadroy and his girlfriend and Sergeant Chris Silva and his wife. That is awesome what they did. All right, did you catch the uh, Gildan New Mexico Bowl this weekend? If not, guess what? You're not alone. Only 24,600 people went to the game. That's the fewest ever in the Bulls history. But let me tell you, this was a good game. In fact, it was a barn burner. Arizona scored the winning touchdown with just 19 seconds left in the game right there. They barely beat Nevada 49-48. Some happy Wildcats there. 
All right, Walmart is slashing prices on its iPhones and iPads. If you want to buy one for yourself or for a gift, listen to this. So, Walmart is going to offer the 16 gigabyte iPhone 5, that is the brand spanking new one. Forget this, just 127 bucks. That's with your upgrade and your two year contract. Usually, that phone costs about $190, $200, so we're talking almost $70 off. Walmart is also making uh, deep discounts on the iPhone 4S and the new iPad that is the third generation, the cool one with the Retina display. No other stores, Best Buy, Radio Shack, they're offering as much as 50 bucks off the iPhones. Uh, also with gift certificates, a sweetened the deal, but no one is cheap at Walmart. And here is the deal, Nikki and Kristen. Here's what you do. If you want the cheap iPhone, you cannot go online and buy it. Walmart says it's going to be at 3,000 stores all across the country. You have to go into the store, find out if that one does it. No word yet if any in Albuquerque are going to offer the deal, ladies. Okay. Right. I already got mine. We so already got ours. Yep. <laughs> and you spent $70 too much for it, it looks Probably. like. Probably. Well, thanks for the good advice. And of course, thanks for all that news. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Have a good day, Matt. You too.